What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is your boy Nair Chase and I wanted to go ahead and finish off this whole Resident Evil 6 campaign critiques and in this one we're going to be focusing on the Ada campaign. Now uh, Ada has always been a shady secret agent, double agent, secret spy chick and I like the fact that they did introduce her into the game because it was cool how the game story kept intertwining all of these characters but I like the fact that she actually was uh, intertwined with that too. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say things I like about it, things I didn't like about it, and some things that I wish they could have done better. Uh, but having said that, let's get into it. Now, as I just said, Ada's campaign weaves in between everyone's campaign because she's working a lot of the cases in the background, even sometimes going as far as to help influence other uh, certain parts of others. Uh, one of the parts being like in the final, uh, one of the, in the final battle with Simmons with Leon and Helena, she provides the weaponry to take them down. Uh, during the Jake and Sherry campaign, she helps take out, uh, she helps take out that chainsaw thing. Uh, so I, 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 I really did uh, like that about her campaign. Now these are some things I wish they could have did a little bit better. Now it did have a decent uh, balance between action and survival horror, but I would have liked it. I, I like that balance, but I wish it would have been a little bit more focused on stealth because she's one of those stealthy characters. And I like. I, I wish they really would have focused a little bit more on that because. Like uh, again, with uh, one part uh, where she she ends up fighting the that chainsaw creature, and I'm like, I'm like, what was it? She fought the chainsaw creature on the back of a train. I was like, yeah, that's a bit much. <laughs> uh, also, as the one part where Leon and Helena are in the graveyard, she's in the graveyard too, just doing her thing in another part of it. And I'm like, okay, that's that's pretty cool. I like the stealth. I like if they fought this creature, she ends up fighting uh, fighting the creature later on or before. Or uh, when they do something, she ends up stumbling across it. So when it came to her campaign, I did like the balance of action and horror. But I wish they could focus a little bit more on stealth. If these these creatures, like there's this one part where she's in the subway, in our subway, in the submarine or something like that. But it, that's and but you can't. It's there's like really no sneaking around because you have to fight all of these creatures, uh, these Huevo like creatures. And I again, I wish they would have kind of worked on that a little bit better, uh, where it's more of her stealth, more espionage, more okay. She had to find a way around situations rather than actually go fight in the situations. Uh, but uh, what can you do? That, that's that's all I can got for that. Um, I don't know if this is hunk uh, or I'm just gonna call this guy agent, but that character should have been <laughs> a part of the actual campaign, not because Ada was a single player campaign and then everybody got mad at Capcom and then they just put a DLC character there or whatever. No, it should have been Ada working with agent or Ada working with hunk. Look, I know people said hunk died in Resident Evil Two. I'm still up for debate on that because we didn't actually see the guy die, but. And we've seen characters who we thought died came back. It made sense how they uh, survived. But it should have been Ada and Hunk because Hunk is like the male version equivalent of Ada. Okay, so they them two should have been collaborating together to figure out all what's going on. And this it, again, it would have made his character stand out a bit more. And I did make a video about why they should have like a Hunk uh, game. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, and I'm going to put that in the comment section below so I can check that out. But it would have been nice to actually have that character be relevant. Uh, and that kind of uh, pissed me off with that. But again, that's one of those things where like one of those people that kind of just shitted on. They actually still took a little bit more care of it, especially what they introduced in this game. So I wish they really would have done a better job with that and not just made it just an Ada alone campaign, just made it an Ada and a Hunk campaign. That way, you know, you can get... Uh, again, Hunk Wood represents an uh, organization that doesn't uh, exist anymore. So it's like, okay, where the hell is Hunk been? But uh, uh, what, what can you do? Um, again, like I've said before, the QTEs, quick time events, they should have just been killed. Also, the whole unlimited ammo and all of these free access to all these weapons at one time, 
that was a definitely step a step back like it has been with the Jake, Leon, and Chris campaigns. Wish they would have worked out a little bit better with that. And again, like I said, as far as the stealth elements of her campaign, I wish it was more about intelligence gathering as well as espionage. And yes, the and yes, you can fight. You can choose to fight creatures, but they should have put it to where okay, you can uh, uh, go up, just either be able to evade them or attack them. Uh, also, uh, with the other campaigns too, way too linear, way too linear. Uh, one what was the one part you, uh, that you start off on a submarine? It ain't like you can actually explore the submarine like that. Uh, but you do get a bit, you do get a good bit of a play with the submarine, but it's not like you can actually explore it like that. Again, the whole open world, them being in the same city, makes absolute sense. In the first beginning of the game, Leon and Helena are being surrounded by zombies. And you have Ada show up and saves them in a helicopter. So I've been like, okay. You see what I mean? They was in the same city. So it kind of made sense that they probably would cross paths. So it should have been a better uh, aspect when it came to the open world. And also... Uh, like when I said about the graveyard and Leon, uh, how certain actions that Leon would do, Ada would pick up. Certain actions Ada would do, one other character's campaign would pick up. I think there would have been a work worked a hell of a lot better had that story again been established in one uh, unique location instead of just this big worldwide thing. Because again, it was very over the top. Uh, but and this is probably going to be the shortest one of all because this is the one that. I think kind of hit the mark a little bit, but at the same time, kind of didn't. Uh, and also, uh, we get the moment where uh, Ada has to fight Carla, who is basically her evil duplicate. <laughs> and I would have liked to see more back and forth between her and Simmons, because you do get that. I would like to see more back and forth between Ada and Simmons and Ada and Carla. And... Like and because she's one of those characters that you would see that type of uh, that type of action from. Her. Like, okay, hey, you're the bad guy, and I know about you, you know. And I do get that sense that she does that in the game. And I wish they would explore Ada and Simmons's uh, backstory a little bit better, a little bit more. And yes, okay, okay Simmons liked Ada, and in an attempt to uh, get Ada, which he couldn't, he ended up taking another brilliant woman and using the virus to basically morph her body into an Ada clone. And it's it, that's interesting, yes, it, it really is, but they didn't do more with that because if he could do that with Ada's clone, they could have did that with people of power across the planet, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on now. And, and my thing with Ada is like, what is her stake in this? I understand that she's uh, against Simmons and I understand she was against Carla but like what else did she have that was at stake so I wish they would have did a little bit better uh, when it came to her reasoning for being in this because she just could have easily just went and did something she just could have went and easily just killed Simmons they been done with that now as far as her trying to find Carla or as far as her trying to help the other characters okay they could have just worked on that a little bit better but as far as her trying to be her and Simmons thing and all that. I wish they could have worked a little bit better with the story. And but then again, as I've said before, uh, they should have brought Hunk back. Or if Agent is going to be a new independent character, introduce us to that character and not just have him just be uh, an update. You know, what I'm saying so. Anyway, I know this is going to be shorter than the rest of them, but that was pretty much my my take on it. I think also with the stealth. Uh, aspect of her campaign it would have worked with all of the other ones with the survival horror of Leon's with the cat and mouse of Jake with the militaristic one uh, with uh, Chris I think that her stealth her stealth uh, campaign worked well with all of them but they you know there's certain points where it could have been better and some parts that it, uh, it was pretty good but anyways guys in the comment section below let me know what did you think about my thoughts about the whole Ada campaign. Did you agree with anything? Did you not like anything that I had said? Also, uh, let us know some things that I didn't think of. Just leave them down, down there. And also, be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, that notification button to get the best of what's going on on the Narrative Chase channel. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this and catch you guys.